Mm-hmm. Good morning. You're welcome to episode 6 of our youth and our future. The future is not something you enter. The future is something you create. Today, we will be starting a new series on our youth discussions. The issues surrounding youth are as old as humanity. However, the issues facing youths in the 21st century are far much different from issues of youths in previous centuries. I'd like to start in this episode by describing to us the typical 21st century youth. The 21st century youth is perceived and generally referred to as the violent generation, the E-generation, the scapegoat generation, the Hollywood generation, the ambitious generation. The 21st century youth are opinionated and want to do things their own way all the time. They typically hate boundaries and love to experiment and be creative in their own way. They are better informed and can be creative but typically lazy. A good part of the blame for this laziness, however, lies with parents of the youths of today. Parents who tend to protect their children from the disciplined upbringing that is meant to develop character when one goes through challenges. The 21st century youth often lack the initiative to act in spite of their energy. They fail to act unaided or without being prompted. This generally makes them susceptible to peer group pressures and they tend to seek affirmation from their peers and tend to be driven, often unfortunately, into negative values because of this challenge. However, I personally have a problem with the negative media portrayal of the youth as uninterested in the world around them, branding them as materialistic and anti-intellectual. Particularly offensive to me are stereotypes of young African-American males who are often depicted as hostile, criminal, violent, or valued only for their athletic ability. In subsequent editions, I will be addressing in some more detail my view of the youths and how significant and relevant I think they really are and should be if given the voice to express themselves as they truly, truly desire and particularly offensive are stereotypes of young African-American males who are often depicted as hostile, criminal, violent or valued only for the athletic ability. In subsequent editions, I'll be throwing some more light on why I share this view, particularly emphasizing the significance of the youth, who can be a lot more effective and impactful in society if given the voice. Thank you. My name is Ulu Soji Oyawe. I'm the MD CEO of Resource Intermediaries Limited a people management outsourcing company based in Nigeria and Accra, Ghana. Remember, the future is not something you enter. The future is something you create.